So this is the GERT board. Um, you'll see I've put a link uh, here to the previous video which talks uh, in a bit more detail about what the GERT board is and how to assemble one. In this video we're going to look at um, how to connect to this part here which is the motor controller and how we can actually drive a, uh, a physical motor. I ordered this very small little motor just to demonstrate. It's a geared motor meaning that it can power things a little bit more powerful um, but it does move quite a lot slower and it's uh, the, the slower speed allows me to demonstrate this a bit better. So this is how I um, have wired it up. We have here a battery pack that you can turn on and off, which I got from uh, Maplin in the UK, and the small little motor, and I've just uh, screwed it all into a piece of acrylic, and uh, we've connected up to the, the motor controller. You can see here we have the, um, the positive and the negative wire from the motor, and we also have a positive and a negative wire for the battery pack. Um, so it's a geared motor, and it has this sort of uh, this D-shaped cog on the end, which allows you to connect it up to different things if you want to. And that's just a bit more uh, closer view on that. So this is how essentially you connect up the entire rig. You connect your Raspberry Pi up with its ribbon cable, and then you want to make sure that the bottom um, pin on your GERT board you connect to the positive um, pin on the battery, and the negative goes to the top. Um, the motor actually doesn't matter which way round you um, plug it in. Um, obviously um, what we're going to show in this video is the motor going in one direction and then spinning back in the other direction so depending on which way you you plug it in will depend on um, which way it spins so a close-up of the actual um, pins we have here we have the motor um, positive and obviously the earth or the negative and then we have motor A and motor B so obviously this is where we plug in our battery and the two motor connectors and that's what we have there. Okay, so what does um, you know, motor A or MOT A and MOT B mean? Well, if we send a high signal to um, either of these two points, we get a one, which is a digital high signal, and zero is a digital low. So if we send zero, zero, low, that's no movement. If we send zero, one, to, so just a high signal to B and a low signal to A, then it will spin in one direction. We um, flip that and it will spin in the opposite direction and one one, so high high, and it won't move at all. And that's how um, we essentially control it by sending a um, high signal to one of our GPIO pins and then that is routed through the board, which I'll show in a moment. So this is how uh, you connect it up. This is the actual diagram that we're working off. So down here you'll need to use your jumper wires um, like I used my previous video from GPIO 18 and 17 and you connect them here on the Moto A and um, Moto B um, pin headers on the GERT board and that's just a close up of that there. Okay so when we're programming with the GERT board um, you can get the original um, set of programming that was done in um, the programming language C which I have a link to there and was written by GERT van Loo or um, there's some new code that's been written by um, a guy called Alex Ames from Raspberry TV and um, he's written this in Python and he's um, and there's a link to his um, details there so um, he has within that Python code two different sets of um, test suite scripts first one is based off of um, the wiring Py, um, Python interpreter which is written by Gordon Henderson, and the second time is one um, called rpi.gpio by Ben Croston, and um, I'll put a link in the description to both of those. And here is a link to uh, the Raspi TV stuff. I would recommend to go there and have a look at some of the fantastic things you can do with the GERT board specifically, and also lots of Raspberry Pi stuff. Something you may not have encountered yet is a pre-assembled GERT board that you can pre-order to buy. Uh, the date at the moment is the 20th of December 2012, so if you're watching this a bit later, this should be available. But at the moment, you can pre-order them from Element 14. So if you were um, not sure about getting a GERT board because you weren't feeling confident about all the soldering or weren't really into that, you should be able to, hopefully, um, in early 2013, be able to actually order a fully assembled GERT board here from Element 14's website. So look out for that and um, if anyone orders one I'd love to see feedback on what you think of it. So um, when picking a motor I just look for some hobby stuff um, so I could just use a standard 9 volt battery and um, once you've got that and, you, and your GERT board 
Um, you probably want to watch my previous video which explains how to run the test LED um, program in C, how to download that and get all that working and compile all the C code which you'll need to know before you um, look at this. So um, do that first and then hopefully you'll be able to um, follow the next few steps we have. So if you've watched the previous video and you've compiled all the C code, you're going to want to run the command uh, sudo dot forward slash motor and hit enter. Then what's going to happen is the motor is going to slow off at, start off at its slowest setting, speed up to its highest and then slow down. So they're going to stop, reverse, speed up and then slow down again. What's happening is that you are sending a high-low signal to the A and, B, A and B motor pins. And then what's also happening is that the speed of the motor is being controlled by applying a pulse width modulated signal to either the A or the B pins. That's a little bit technical for the beginners channel, but if you want more information about that, um, the best place is to go to the GERT board um, user manual that explains this in a lot more detail than I could possibly go over on the video. And for you more techie people out there, that's a great source of information to go and find out. You'll see that the motor here is actually going quite slowly and that's because it's a geared motor um, which allows you to drive slightly more powerful things but obviously doesn't have the speed um, and it was a great way for me to be able to um, demonstrate the, um, what the motor actually does here. Um, so that's basically the motor controller. I'd love to hear anyone's comments and uh, things I have to say about this particular video. Thank you. Let me see that.